If y'all cold and stuff, it's Mike's fault. It was his idea. Mike wrote. As a school used to say, Roti. Hi, right, is everybody back around? All right. All right. Well, it's good to have the Fletchers with us. Amen. Y'all come on. Get started. Amen. All right. Don't get comfortable. <laughs> All right. Is it as cold as it was that first Sunday y'all came? No. <laughs> I'll tell you, I'll tell you a story while they're getting ready. The first time they came here, we had just started and we didn't have the money to cut, cut the heat on to get the gas turned on. So it was cold in the, in the church. <laughs> well, we ain't in the church, we outside. But anyway, Brother Steve, man, he was over there. He's just a shaking. I thought he was in the spirit. He was freezing. <laughs> but you know what? I, I, I'm i serious when I say this. I thank God for them. They came anyhow. Amen. And Amen. we had just started and didn't have didn't have nothing. And hey, Well, we did. We had Jesus. Don't, don't misunderstand me. But, but but you know what? God's, God's brought us a long way. They've been, with, they've been coming here with us now for over five years. And Amen. I appreciate them coming tonight. Amen. I know she's not feeling good. And. But uh, you pray for them, amen? As they sing. All right. Sometimes when I'm weary, Satan wars with my soul.
thank God. He really has to walk through the door. I'm so glad of that, Brother Mike. Amen. I'm going to move this. It's disturbing me. I mean, I, she can't move over. I need to move over. God's so good, ain't he? month ago, we was, we was going to go to the beach. She, she always likes to go to the beach. I'm a mountain person, but anyway, we, amen. 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 That's right. I like witness. Amen. But anyway, we decided to take her to the beach. And, and our son-in-law and our daughter and all wanted to take our conversion van, our red van. You know, they wanted to take it, and, and they was going to drive it, and we was going to drive our other one. I said, that's fine. So I said, but the only thing, you got to change oil before you go. He said, all right. So I went and bought the oil and filter. And he changed the oil, and he was going to take a test drive around the block. He called me. He said, the van won't crank. I said, really? So I go over and uh, check the oil. He didn't get the oil filter tight. Licked all the oil out, locked the motor down. And so I I go back to the house, get a tow cable, you know, and I tow the van back to the house. And, and you know, I... Sister Edna never knows what I'm doing, but I, I, I like talking to God. You know, I, I like talking to him. Amen. I hated that van. I walked up and I gave him a $20 bill. You know, he was white. He thought I was just going to wreck him out. And Edna, she looked like, what are you giving him $20 for? I said, turn that van up. I thought, I mean, I'm going to, well, what are we going to do about another van? I said, God, got it under control. Amen. 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 Amen.
How many believe that? Amen. You believe that? That's the way I believe. I you know, when I got saved, I believed it all. I believed every book, every word in the book. Amen. So, three weeks ago, we was out of vehicle for a week and a half. I'm sorry. She had to drive me around, which she does anyway. I never drive, but uh, that red truck right there, the lady called me and just put five brand new tires on it, paid $650 for the tires. And she wanted to know if I'd give her $75 for it. Edna said, I'll do it better than that. I'll give you a hundred. She said. <laughs> so, is God good? Amen. Amen. Yes, and that's the way God works. Amen. Stand still and just Amen. watch. Amen. 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 He's always been good. Stand still. God can't listen. Amen. Stand still. Wait yeah. on God. Amen. He's always. Yes. Amen. And the main thing is, He's always on time. Yes. That's, that's, I, I, he's never failed me. Right. Never Amen. failed me. Amen. Amen. That just too loud, I don't know. Y'all let me know. Woman in the Bible days, her last meal almost gone. God sent Elijah to make his word known. He said, woman, don't you worry, God sent me today. And before you even ask me, help was on me. It'll be here tomorrow, but I ain't here today.
I think about that a lot. Y'all ever think yeah. about that? What a day. I know all of y'all know that song, so it's just saying, what a day. What a, what a day that's going to be. No more clouds in the sky, no more tears to be in the eye. All is peace forevermore on that happy golden shore. What a day, glorious day that will be. What a day.
If he hadn't been for that message, I wouldn't be here today. Amen? Amen. This church would have never been started. I want you to listen to this and think about this. Listen, you might be in a wreck in your life. Amen? You might be in a situation that you think you're going to get out of it, but don't sit in that situation. That's the problem. Amen? We'll step there, amen, and let that situation come around and take us and destroy us. Don't sit in that situation. Amen? Uh, Brother Steve uh, sung that song, uh, 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 the Stand Still. I just preached that message about two weeks ago at right. the church, amen, on a Wednesday night. Let me tell you something, hey, folks. We can't work all the problems out. We ain't going to make everything right. But I'll tell you what, amen, don't sit in your troubles. Don't sit in your sorrow and die in them, amen. Amen, amen. Come on, preacher. Amen. Yeah. Man. Look at chapter 7, look at verse 1. Then, then Elisha said, Hear ye the word of the Lord. Thus said the Lord, Tomorrow, about this time, shall a measure of fine flour, flour be sold for a shekel, and two measures of barley for a shekel, a shekel in the gate of Samaria. Now, I don't know, I can't remember what a shekel was worth, but I know that was very expensive. Amen? Right. And, 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 and they, they, they was getting ready to go into a famine. Uh, they was getting ready to go into a, a, a distress, and, and people didn't have money, amen, to buy that stuff, amen? So, in other words, amen, uh, they were going to starve. Verse 2 said, Then the Lord, on whose hand the king leaned, answered the man of God and said, Behold, if the Lord would make windows in heaven, might this thing be? And he said, Behold, thou shalt see it with thine eyes, but thou shalt not eat thereof. Mm. Here's verse 3. Right here's where we ought to be. And there were four lepers, men, at the entering and at the gate. And they said one to another, Why sit we here until we die? That's right. Now, let me explain something to you. I ain't gonna keep you, I ain't gonna preach long, but I want you to get this. If you don't get nothing, get this right here. They were getting ready to go into a famine. They was getting ready, the food was getting ready to be, uh, 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 they couldn't buy it, they didn't have it. And these lepers, now listen, look who said this. These lepers, they met, in the Old Testament days, they was considered unclean. They couldn't mix with the other people. They met, they couldn't go where other people went. And they said, why must we sit here and die? Amen. Let me tell you something, folks. Amen. Amen. What? It's at your fingertips, but you're sitting there and you're dying. Amen. You're sitting there in it. Amen. You know what? People want today, they want somebody to pat them on the back and feel sorry for them. I'm going to tell you something. I don't want you to pat me on the back. And I don't want you to feel sorry for me. You can pray for me. I'm going to tell you something. I ain't going to sit still. I ain't going to sit. Amen. And die. Amen. amen. When God's got something for me to do. Amen. 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 If we say we will enter into the city, then the famine is in the city, and we shall die there. And if we sit still here, we die also. They was going to die in the way they was going to go, wasn't they? Yeah. He said, Now therefore come, and let us fall into the host of the Syrians. If they save us alive, we shall live. If they kill us, we shall but die. Yeah. In other words, you know what? We're going to die sitting here. Uh -huh. And we might die over there. But we're going to go ahead and go over there and chance it anyhow. Amen. I'm telling you right now. That's what's wrong right now. You know what? what's wrong right now? We're in a situation where we're dying. And we're scared to go over there where we know we might die. But we know we're going to die here. Why are you staying in that? Amen. Let's go over here. There's a chance over here that you might make it. Amen. So why don't we go take the chance? Instead of sitting there dying. They had no hope anyhow. There's lepers. Amen. They didn't have a chance anyhow. They are going to die anyhow. But they said, you know what? If we sit here, we're going to die. If we go over there, we might. Understand, you know what they said? We might live. and But we might die. That might live and might die sounds better than dying. Huh? That's right. Let me tell you something. I don't know what's in your spiritual life. I don't know what's in your physical life. I don't know what's in your marriage. I don't know what's in your home. But I'm going to tell you something. If it's killing you, don't sit there and die in it. Amen. Amen. I'm going to tell you something. I've been counted down. Yeah. I've been counted out by this world. But thank God, amen. God ain't counted me out. Amen. You know what? I like to watch boxing. There's 15 rounds. I'm in round one. I got 14 more to go. Amen. Huh? Boxer boy. Amen. Why must we sit there and die in it? I'm going to show you something here in a minute. Amen. 
See how God works. The devil thinks, I'm just going to say this. Most people know we're in a battle over here. Amen. Most people know uh, we, we've been told the doors are going to shut. I've been told, amen, we ain't going to make it. But I'm telling you, I've been told that. Not by God, but by the devil. Amen. Somebody right. say, hey, amen. Amen. I don't serve the devil. Right. Right. Amen. But if we sit there, Man. If we sit over here and go, oh God, poor, poor Lord, look at the shape I'm in, we're going to die in that. You know what, brother? Scott, when I got saved, I had nothing. And when I leave here, I'll leave with nothing. Amen. Job said, naked I came, naked I'll go. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. It ain't about what you got here in this world anyhow. Right. Right. Yeah. But what you got on the other side. Amen. 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 Right. Right. Amen. Let me see. Whoa, I don't even know why it's that. <laughs> Look at verse 5. And they rose up in the twilight to go into the camp of the Syrians. And when they came to the uttermost part of the camp of Syria, behold, there was no man there. <laughs> Wait a minute. Who was the Syrians? Their enemy. Matter of fact, the Assyrians, the Assyrians had all the food stored up. The Assyrians had all the camps and everything locked up so they couldn't get there. Wait a minute, they go there. They said, we might die, but we're going. But look, look what happened. Look what happened when they got there. Y'all ain't getting this. When they got there, there was no man. Where was the Assyrians at? I'm going to tell you in a minute. I'm about to bust the tea now, but I want to get you there first. <laughs> Come on, preacher. They were there. Amen. There was no man there. Ain't that amazing how God, amen, will move out the enemy before you get there. Somebody, amen. 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 Let me tell you, you want to sit there, amen, and water in, that's where you're going to sit. You're going to stay just like this. But I'm telling you, boy, God says to get up and get out of it. As soon as you get up and go where God said to go, guess what? You'll find the door open, amen. amen. You'll find amen. a way to hang. Yes. Hey, amen. God's already amen. took care of it. Amen. Amen. Yeah. amen. Uh, that's right. I'm glad, thank Amen. God. God makes the path. Amen. He leads me in the path of righteousness. Yes, he does. For his name's sake. Amen. 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 Look at verse 6. For the Lord had made the host of the Syrians to hear a noise of chariots. <laughs> and of a great host. And they said to one another, Lo, the king of Israel hath hired against us the kings of the Hittites and the kings of the Egyptians to come upon us. Wherefore they arose and fled in the twilight and left their tents and their horses and their asses, even the camp as it was, and fled from us. Somebody say, y'all ain't getting out of there. Ain't that amazing? Ain't that amazing? They thought they heard chariots. They thought they heard they thought the enemy, I mean, they thought that the Lord had sent the, uh, uh, the armies in to defeat them. No, God didn't send his army. God just went and done it himself. Somebody said it. They yes, listen, amen. ain't it amazing, Mother Mike, when, it, when it's right there, and the devil said you can't have it, and God says, yes, you can. Yes. Just go get it. Amen. 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 Yes. You ever been like that before? Preacher, what happened? I come into church that one day, it was packed out. I come in there, now I can pick the seat I want to sit in. Well, thank God, amen, you got a seat to sit in. Somebody say amen. You know what? I don't look at these empty chairs here as, 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 as negative. I look at that as an opportunity to get somebody in. Somebody say amen. 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 Uh, amen. Notice when they got there, notice what they said, we're going to die. We'll just take our chance. We'll go over there. If they kill us, we're going to die anyhow. But you know what? When they got there, whoo! It was there. It was already gone. Right. I'm just amazed sometimes how God goes before me Amen. and takes a mess Amen. and straightens it out before I even, get, before I even approach it. Amen. Mike, you had to go somewhere. You know you dread going. And when you get there, it ain't nothing what you thought it was going to be. Yeah, Amen. Why? Because God went before them. That's right. I find it amazing that God sent a, a chariots and the, and the kings heard chariots and, 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 and people out there and there wasn't nobody out there. Yep. Amen. 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 You understand what I'm saying? 
Tell me God ain't good. Right. Tell me God ain't good. Right. Amen. Verse 8. And when these lepers came to the uttermost part of the camp, they went into one tent and did eat and drink. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. They were just right over there and they were starving. Yeah. They was like, hey, they was right over there. They couldn't even buy flour. They couldn't even buy barley. Remember? It was six minutes. Wait a minute. They went one tent. Whoa! One tent. And eat. Huh? They did eat and drink and carried that silver and gold and raiment and went and hid it and came again into another tent and carried this also and went and hid it. Good Lord. God give them a double portion. <laughs> he give them one tent full of food. And then when they got through with that, and Adam, they went over there and I set the other tent. Amen. But here's what they did. This ain't negative, but this is what happened. Notice what they said they did with it. They hid it. Don't hide what God does for you. And you tell somebody what God's done for you. Hey, I'm going to say something God can't about it. I'm just as proud of this church right now as I was, amen, when we was running 150. Amen. Somebody said, you know why? Because God's got it right where he wants. Amen. Amen. Uh, let the devil go. Amen. Them lepers is going to die until they got it moved. Look at verse 9. Then they said to another, We do not well this day. We do not well this day is a day of good tidings. And we hold our peace. Are oh, you getting what they're saying right there? Come on. They're being blessed, but they want to hide it from everybody else. Come on, preacher. <coughs> <laughs> what about all them other ones that suffering and you know about Come God's on. blessed you well, and blessed Come you on. with what He gives you but what about mom over here that's in a need Amen. Come and on. here you are you got everything you got enough to hide wait a minute wait a minute it don't do you good to hide it mom needs a little bit of that Amen. hey sister right here needs some of that brother over here needs some of that hey why are you hiding it let me tell you something. I tell you what makes me sick or anything. They ask somebody they say, they'll drop their head and say, Yes, bless God, I ain't serving that man there. I'm serving one of them. Yes. Yes. Uh, why must you sit there and die? There ain't a one of us out here starving. No, we ain't. If yours your own fault, I ain't never seen so much blame ham and turkey and bologna in all my life. I stood out there one time. A ham sandwich in one hand, a turkey sandwich in the other hand, and a pocket full of cookies. <laughs> I'm not lying. Then I got over here and got to talking and put my hand on my pocket and I thought, what's in my pocket? Stuck my hand in my pocket, that was a cookie, you understand? Did you hide it? No, I said, look here, y'all. That's our problem. You know why we're dying? Because we're hiding what God does for us. Some of you are ashamed to yes, God blesses right. you. Some of you are ashamed to lift up your hands and say praise the Lord. Some of you ain't right. said amen so long. You ain't prayed so long. You ain't read the Bible so long. And that's your pity, not God's. That's right. That's right. That's right. Preach. Amen. Preach. We tarry till the morning light. Some mischief will come upon us. Now therefore come, that we may go and tell the king's household. Wait a minute now. Look at this. They had went into the enemy's camp. God had cleared the enemy. They eat, but God. They got full. They hid enough to do it for a while. But then they got to worrying. They said, wait a minute. Look where we at. Hey, we over here, we know they can kill us. But wait a minute, we just eat their food. Somebody say amen. We just took their silver. Somebody say amen. We just took their raiment. Y'all ain't getting this, say amen. Hey, the devil ain't got nothing that God can't give you. Somebody say amen. Hey, the devil might take it, but God will give it right back. And he'll give it back better. $75 for a truck over there. Come on, preacher. 
Come on. I'm glad he didn't sit up there and say, well, you know, I'm so sorry that we got this and you didn't. Huh? He needed it. Amen. You ain't getting what this what these people done here. Amen. You know what might have happened if you hadn't blessed shared that blessing? That thing, that motor might have blowed. Amen. Yes. Huh? Yes. I can't stand it when you ask people, are you blessed? Amen. <laughs> you know what gets me more for Christians say they ain't got nothing? Come on, preacher. Oh. Come on. That just tires me up, but Steve. It starts in my little toe and it goes out my mouth. <laughs> Well, wait a minute. A last recording and reading I, I read, if you got Jesus, you got everybody. Amen. You don't need Amen. nothing else. Because you know what? Seek ye first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all these things shall be uh, added to you daily. Something's needed. Amen. Right. Amen. Yeah, that's true. Amen. Even at the church, there's another turkey and ham sandwich over there. Come on. <laughs> Uh -huh. <laughs> 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 Amen. Yeah, it's in the fridge right outside. Right. Well, listen. Look at verse 10. So they came and called it to the porter of the city, and they told him, saying, We came to the camp of the Syrians, and behold, there was no man there, neither voice of man, but horses tied, and asses tied in the tents as they were. And he called the porters, and, and they told it to the king's house the end, and the king arose in the in the night, and said unto his servants, I will now show you the sir, what the Syrians have done to us. They know that we be hungry, they, therefore they have gone out of the camp to hide themselves in the field, saying, When they shall come out of the city, we shall catch them alive and get into the city. But look at verse 13. Right here is a, right here is a church member. And one of his servants answered and said, Let some take, I pray thee, five of the horses that remain which are left in the city, behold, they are all as the multitude of Israel that are left in it. Behold, I say, they are even as all the multitude of the Israelites that are consumed, and let us sin and see. There you go. Hey, you know what Mike Rowe needs? You know what Randy Richardson needs? Some church members that are go and see, that are go and see, that are go out there and say, hey, yeah, we might be in a mess right now, but, I might, but I'm telling you, the blessing's right over there. I'm not going to sit there and die in it. Amen. Come on, preacher. Come on. Preacher. Come on. To make a long story short, because I'm about tired, <laughs> all they had to do was get up and not die in that place as in. If you'd have never went and paid for that truck, you'd have never got it. I'm going to share something else with you. Jim knows the store. Called me the other day, said, I want you to come by the store. And I said, okay. Went over by the store and he said, he said, I'm gonna make a deal with you. I said, what's that? He said, if you'll smoke me a ham for Thanksgiving, I'll give you one. Oh, wow. I said, okay. Now what do we think of when we say ham? No, I'm serious. When you go to the store, most you get a ham about that big, don't you? Yeah, about ten pound ham. I walked in there and he said, come here and show these hands a minute. 32 pounds a piece. <laughs> he said, if you smoke one, I'll give you one. I said, nah, brother. I'm not going to do that because if I had to cook you one, I'm not going to take that other one. Just give me that other one I won't cook you one. <laughs> That's a lie. I said, yes, sir. I said, matter of fact, he said, I'll help you carry the car. I said, now nah, you just set my rest, brother. I'll carry myself. Amen. Let me tell you something, folks. When God gives you something, amen. why are you sitting there dying and hiding amen. in it? Amen. Amen. It's time to shut somebody. Say amen. 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 He's also giving me 25 Thanksgiving dinners to give out to people who don't have anything. Amen. Amen. Now, you know what I could do with them? You know what I could do with them? I could keep them, or I could go out there and sell them. But you know what? 
That ain't what they was geared for. Right. We was at church a month ago. I had 1,500 pounds of potatoes on the back of that toy little truck. Stacked up right there in front of the church. Did I not? Yeah. Ten pound bags. Fifteen hundred pounds of potatoes. You know what I can do with them fifteen hundred pounds of potatoes? I can go to the flea market and sell them things for a dollar a bag, and I wouldn't have been there 30 minutes. But you know what? They wouldn't give to me to sell. They was given to me to give away. That's why you're sitting there dying, you old greedy tight one. <laughs> <laughs> some people, like I said, a couple weeks ago went and paid ten dollars to sit out in the coldness and somebody seen you come over here and eat for free and get and get a blessing for free right. and they stayed at the house. Amen. Yeah. And they'll be coming in the morning. They'll come in the morning with a face about that long. Look at me eating persimmons all night. <laughs> or lemons. Come on. Come on. So what are y'all so shouty about? <laughs> And I can't wait till they ask me. I was like, oh, bless God, we sat out there and froze. Amen. Amen. But you know what? God blessed us. Amen. Yes. Hey, I ain't yes. sick in the pity and dying. You know what I'm doing with a wife? I'm going to get out of that pity, bless God. And I'm going to go where God says to go. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. I'm going to go eat from the devil's table. Somebody say amen. Uh, 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 I'm going to close in this. Uh, uh, there, was a, <laughs> there was a little old lady praying for her. God to give her two loaves of bread. Come on. <laughs> Some young men heard her praying. They said, we're going to trick that old woman. They went to the store and bought two loaves of bread. And climbed up <coughs> on top of the house and brought it down to the chimney. And they, they climbed down there looking in the window. And she's going, whoa, whoa, praising God for that bread. <laughs> Them two boys knocked on the door and opened the door and said, what's wrong with you, woman? She said, whoa, I prayed for God to give me two loaves of bread. And God did. He said, woman. God didn't put them that bread down that chimney. He said, we did. She said, whoa, it's a blessing anyhow. If the God won't shoot the devil to give me my blessing, I'm going to praise him anyhow. That's how I love you. Amen. Come on, See, I don't want nothing the devil's got. Well, if it's food and he don't want it, I'll take it. <laughs> I said I was going to stop there, but I ain't. <laughs> There's a brother up in Hammond, Indiana, on the sheetrock business and went and bid on a job. Put sheetrock up in a, in a, in a new mall <laughs> to give a price of, I think he said $500,000 to do the whole mall. He said the contractor come up to him and said, Look, he said, I got a man that said he'd do it for $350,000. He said, he said, he looked at that man and said, well, he said, I can't compete with that. He said, he went home and got on his knees and said, now God, you know I need that job. And God, you know when I get through, I'm going to give you 10% of it. Really? Yeah. Huh? He said, now God, I'm going to live it in your hands. He said, if I get it, you'll get 10%. If I don't get it, then I'm going to starve. He said, the man called him back the next day and said, well, he said, I've been thinking about that. He said, and, 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 and I know you'll work and I know you'll do a good job. He said, I don't know that other fella. He said, I'm going to go ahead and even if it's going to cost me another $150,000, I'm going to give it to you. Hey, that's God right there. That's God. Hey, I'll sit there and die. Them lepers would have died if they had not went and done what God said to do. You're dying anyhow. You're dying anyhow. Why don't you get up and move and go there? And see what you can do about the city. You know what? I might go down, but I'm going to go down swinging. Right. And when I come up, I'm going to come up swinging. I'm going to tell you something about my, I might get knocked down, but the devil's going to know I've been there. Amen. That's right. I had a guy told me one time, he said, he said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna whoop you. He said, I'm gonna beat you senseless. I said, Well, you better, I said, you better hope you get me senseless first. He said, Why is that? I said, Cause you might whoop me and beat me down, but you're gonna know I would have beat him or kicked him or something. I'm gonna do something, but God didn't know I've been there. Somebody say, Amen. That's what's wrong with us. We'll sit there and say, Okay, devil, just whoop me down. Huh? No, 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 no. Don't sit there and die. God bless you. I'm warm now. Whoa! Oh, yeah. Don't die! 